Welcome to our Smart Flow product information video. Today we're going to be talking about ATG. That's our topic for today. ATG. ATG stands for Automatic Tank Gauge. And that means it's a system that allows you to view the product in your tank or the level of the product in your tank electronically. So not by just dipping and physically looking at the dipstick, but viewing it electronically. Um, we're going to talk about the various components of, of a system, particularly we're talking today about the video root system. Because there's many types of ATGs, but today we're talking about the video root system. We have two main parts of the system. We have the console and we have the probes. So the console normally would sit where you want to be able to view the system, either in the manager's office or in any office, while the probes have no choice but to sit in the tank where the product is. So let me start by explaining to you what the um, probes look like. So this is what the probe looks like. It normally would sit in the tank vertically like that. So normally it has to be the length of the tank. So this, this part comes out of the tank. It has, we have two floats here. We have the product float, which is this one here that I'm holding up here. And that float would generally go up and down with the product. So if it's going up with the product, which means you are receiving product into the tank. And if it's going down with the product, which means you are consuming. If it remains stagnant, which means there's no activity in the tank. Very simple, that's how it works. That's the, that's the logic about uh, tank gauging systems. At the bottom, with the Vida root, not all tank gauges have this, but with the Vida root tank gauge, we have a water float. And the water float is designed not to flow to the product, so it sinks in the product, it sits at the bottom. Whenever water comes into the tank, because water is heavier in density than normal petroleum products, it will go to the bottom of the tank, and that float will rise up, and that's how you know there's water in the tank. Very simple. At the same time, this probe has a temperature sensor in it, so it's able to give you on here the temperature of the product in the tank, and that helps with temperature compensation. So if we wanted to do temperature compensation, we can give you the real volume and the temperature compensated volume. In Nigeria, it's not something that we use too often because our temperatures are pretty stable, not like in other countries where you can jump from plus to minus. Um, so that's basically what the probes look like. The console is very is a very simple system as well. It's a touch screen system, so you can touch screen with your fingers and go into screens, come out of screens, navigate all the menu bars. We'll talk about that later. Uh, you can also use a soft pen to do the same thing. You can go in and come out. So this is what the console looks like. It is a programmer, so which means by the time you put these probes in the tank, you will use this console to program these probes. Um, it is also a display, so whatever these probes are showing will display here in the form of a tank. So here we have two tanks, obviously because we have two probes, if we have multiple tanks, you'll have multiple probes. This unit, which is a TLS-4B, can do up to six tanks. We have units that can do 12 tanks, we have units that can do much more. And in fact, if you add up to 50, 60 tanks, it doesn't matter, we can put them in series and, and we can cater for that as well. Um, this display unit will also allow you to communicate with it remotely. So whatever you see here, you can connect to it and, and, and view the same thing um, remotely. We'll talk about that as well. Um, I can also show you the communication port. So at the bottom of the TLS-4B console, we've got two serial ports. And this is very interesting because we can actually connect two different devices at the same time. And we can configure these two serial ports differently. So we can have a four port controller on one and anything else on the other one. We've got two USB ports here. Uh, we can use them to download backup data and, and, and upload um, any updates. We've got a, a, a an Ethernet port here, a LAN cable port, so we can use that to uh, connect this device onto the internet, or we can use it as a communication port as well. And right here, we've got um, our expansion module, and that allows us to connect external devices like leak detection and so on and so forth to, to the TLS4. So next, I'll be showing you how to navigate the video TLS4B screen and some key system features. This is the main home screen that you would see once you log in. On this screen, you normally would have the number of tanks that are available connected to the system. So in this case, we have two tanks. If you had many more tanks, they would be right at the bottom. You also have your alarm data screen, which is like a strip here, and you have your date and time and a print option here if you wanted to print anything that you were on, if you had a printer connected. On the home screen, you have summary information per tank. So for tank one, for example, you have all the summary here. For tank two, you have all the summary here. Fuel volumes, height, 
If you wanted to know more information about the tanks, you could click on the tank and you have a lot more information. You have a favorites button here. If you go in the favorites, you can store anything you want under your favorites and that allows you to access it very quickly without going through the menu bar. Uh, let's access a couple of reports. For example, if I went into the menu, I could access my uh, delivery report. So if I go into delivery report and I go into my delivery history, I can see my delivery history per tank. So I'm on tank two at the moment, as you can see. If I wanted to go into tank one, I can go into tank one and see the delivery history for tank one, what was delivered, what was the water at the time of delivery, very important, the temperature. I can also do many more reports, as you can see, uh, including inventory reports, environmental reports, um, loss reports, uh, reports of my alarms. Very, very important. And most importantly here, or most interestingly, I think you can, at any point in time, if you wanted to know information, you're on the screen and you wanted help, you can go into your actions button, go into help, and you'll get help on that topic. Um, this is some basic information about navigating the system and some of the key system functions. If you wanted to know more, we would have a more detailed video available. But for now, this is what we wanted to show. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. And I hope that this session has been informative enough. Should you require further clarification, you have any questions, you want to visit any of our hundreds of live sites around Nigeria, or you want to play with a demo unit in our office here in Lagos or in Abuja, um, or you want to quote for a system, do not hesitate to contact us through any of these following channels and we'll be very happy to attend to your requests. Thank you very much.